fixtures take off. Beginning from the takeoff screen, make sure you are on the correct job you wish to take off. Also, make sure you have selected the correct vendor and the correct labor that you wish to use. Select the correct phase as well, in this case, fixtures. At the bottom of the screen, the library catalogs are shown. Everything at the bottom of the screen is selected by a single mouse click. If you double click, you may accidentally select an assembly in the next prompt, essentially skipping an important step. With that said, we'll single click fixture assembly with branch. Now we'll decide what the ceiling type will be. Is it a bar joist, concrete, metal stud, exposed wood beam, etc.? I'm going to choose bar joist, and I'm using 3 quarter EMT. What type of fixture is it? In this case, we'll choose 2x4 LED lay-in, so single click. Now, in this assembly group screen, I need to select the things that will make this assembly the way I want it. In this case, for my fixture track support, I want a number 12 gauge jack chain and an S-hook. For the MC luminary cable, I will select 12-2. For the EMT coupling, I will select EMT steel set screw. For the EMT connector, I will select EMT steel set screw. Sometimes it's easier to highlight the description first and then check the box. For the dimming control wire, I will select number 16, and I need a ground so I will check that. Make sure that you selected all of the correct things that you need for this assembly. Then click Take Off. In the Quantities screen that appears, I'll first add a comment so that I can better identify the assembly later. I'm going to call this fixture a Type F1. Maybe that's what it was called on the fixture schedule. I then move over to my number pad to enter my quantities. In this case, there are 20 fixtures, so I'll enter that. Then click Enter Prompt. For chain length, I'm going to set that chain length to 6. Enter prompt. For fixtures per box, I will select two and then enter prompt. Conduit or cable mounting height? That is your ceiling height. I have a 10 foot ceiling, so I'll enter 10 and then click enter prompt. For fixture mounting height, I will mount that fixture just a little bit lower at eight feet. Enter prompt. For average feet between the boxes or fixtures will be 15 feet. Enter prompt. Number of wires in the pole? Remember, in the previous screen, I checked the box to include the ground. So over here, I only need the other two wires. So I'll enter those. Enter prompt. Now I will close the library windows at the bottom by clicking the red X buttons. Now, to review what I've taken off. Line one is the assembly comment. The comment is a better way for me to identify this fixture. Remember, the comment will never have a material unit, no price, and it will never have a labor unit. Line 2 is marked by the red rectangle icon. That is the name of the assembly that I chose when I was at the bottom of the screen. Line 2 will never have a material unit, and it will never have a labor unit. The actual fixture is on line 3. You'll see the 2x4 LED, and we can see that I have 20 of them. There's still no price for this because it assumes you will get that quote at the end of the job. But it did give us 0.36 labor for us to install that fixture. What are the things that come with this fixture? We're going to get one yellow wire nut per fixture, so we had 20. We will get two red wire nuts per fixture, so we end up with 40. We get a clip, we get the jack chain that we checked off earlier, and we get the S hook that we checked off earlier. We also have an inch and a half deep, four inch square box, and we have 10 boxes all together. There's the price on the box. Box price times the quantity of 10 equals $4.09. We have a labor unit of 0.12, and 0.12 times a quantity of 10 equals 1.2 labor hours. We get the cover for the box, and so on. Under the phase totals, we are looking at material dollars and labor hours. If I wanted to take off another fixture, I can do that. We'll select Fixture Assembly with Branch with a single click. I'm on the bar joist, and I'm using MC this time, so I'll single click to select it. And then I'll say that we have a round hi-hat, so I'll single click again. All Intellibid wants to know now 
is what size MC cable we need. So we'll select the 12-2 option by checking the box on that line. Click Takeoff to add your selections and move on to the quantity area. First, I'll put my comment in. Then I'll click over to the number pad. We'll enter the number of fixtures needed. In this case, I'll enter 12 and then click Enter Prompt. For wire cable length, I'll set that to 15 and then click Enter Prompt. At the bottom of the screen, I'll close my library windows again. Now we'll see the new assembly selections that we made in the takeoff window. Thanks for watching this Conest tip video. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get more tips and to keep up to date with Kana software systems.